Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another tutorial and today I'm going to show you Phone Rescue. Phone Rescue can recover from your iOS device, from iTunes backup, iCloud and has some iOS repair tools. So how cool is that? But first things first, today I'm going to show you how to recover from an iOS uh, data loss. So if your device is damaged and such, so let's get right to it. Here you can uh, choose what type of recovery you want to do. I'm going to uncheck everything here because this might take a while and showing you all of this might be very, very boring, right? So first things first, I'm going to show you how to recover some photos. Easy as cake, everyone might lose some photos, such. So the analysis will take as much as uh, the photos you have. So for example, I had 2000 photos right here and it took about four to five minutes. Of course, I'm not gonna show you the whole thing, I'm gonna skip right to it. Okay, and we're back. So, I'm gonna choose a random photo to recover. I'm gonna save it to my desktop. Since I deleted these photos, I don't need them anymore. So I'm not gonna copy it to my phone, I'm gonna copy it to the desktop on the right. I'm gonna click that. And there you go. Data recovery completed. You can click there and check out your photo right there. Double click it and that's it. That was the photo I wanted to recover. So I deleted this because this, I chose a different photo for my thumbnails. And yeah, so data recovery completed. After that, you can do a different type of backup. I'm gonna show you what your options are here. Recover from iCloud. You have to log into iCloud obviously to recover iOS repair tools, we have standard mode and advanced mode where you can do lots of recoveries from boot loops and uh, stock on Apple logo and such. So let me know in the comment section below if you like this tutorial. Also guys, if you like my videos, make sure you check out my other videos I made on this channel. And if you really like what I'm doing and you want to stay up to date with everything I do, just hit the subscribe button and you will get notified of the latest updates.